Trinity International University is a Christian learning community, and that means we're a worshiping community. We need spaces where we can regularly pull away from studies, pull away from our work, and just dedicate that space to worship. One of my favorite parts is how it's a place for a lot of the student body to gather together at once and engage in corporate worship, engage in meaningful times of fellowship and prayer and to hear God's word. And I think that's a very important part of any community, being able to come together with uh, a focus that's centered on Christ. Coming into college, I wasn't very comfortable singing because I never had a very good singing voice and I was always really self-conscious about how I would sound out loud but chapel really pushed me as a person to um, start being comfortable worshiping God with my voice and I think as a Spanish speaker too um, hearing my language being sung in chapel just reminds me of home a little bit. Students can expect to see on a regular basis students leading other students in worship. And that means they're, you know, they're in the company of their peers in these worship spaces. That also means there's a lot of opportunities for students to lead, for students that have musical gifts or have interest in helping with the flow of the service. Coming to Trinity, I wasn't very confident in my singing and my worship leading abilities since I hadn't had much experience. Since coming here and since having the opportunity to not only just attend chapel faithfully, but to be given the opportunities to serve and to make relationships with the leadership in chapel. As a musician, I found it really helpful to, or I found a good opportunity to serve in chapel um, on the chapel worship teams. And I've met a lot of really great musicians in that way, um, been able to keep up my music skills uh, as I'm you know, worshiping with other people. There's definitely a mix of familiar songs, but the worship leaders also do a good job of bringing in um, songs that aren't so familiar, maybe from different cultures. You know, we're singing in English, and then all of a sudden, like the worship team will be like, okay, now we're transitioning in Spanish, and the screens flash up the words. People are able to read that and follow along. And even if it's not perfect, you can tell that everybody's there, like worshiping the same God, feeling the same things. I think it gives us a little bit picture of what heaven will be like, um, hearing all those different voices singing together in praise of God. In addition to local pastors and ministry leaders in the immediate area that we're in relationship with, students will have an opportunity to hear from nationally recognized speakers and scholars. I definitely think uh, we have a huge blessing to have TEDs on campus. I think they do a great job at bringing all kinds of different people with different professions and different backgrounds. Having a professor um, who's not necessarily from a biblical studies or Christian ministries field come up and give us uh, exposition on the Bible and how it relates to our lives really broadens your thinking and refreshes my soul in terms of how I, um, as a biology student, can still seek to serve God even in a science field. Spiritual growth isn't just happening in like a formal sit-down setting, whether that be a classroom or chapel. I remember last December I went through something really difficult and because Trinity has that tight-knit community and people care and people are here to listen, my professor was able to right away notice when something was wrong and just seeing how she cared about me, not just in the classroom or not just when I run into her in chapel or somewhere on campus, but how she knew me personally and she was able to touch my life. I think a lot of schools can just settle for, oh, we have chapels. That's very much the opposite at Trinity, I'd say. Um, I have been a part of the men's Bible group on campus MUG for over a year now. Um, I actually led one of the student uh, worship ministries on campus free for two years. We're all invested in this work of discipleship and spiritual formation. That means that our time in chapel can be the overflow of those daily interactions, those, those weekly meetings, those, those regular rhythms of being a community focused on growing one another in Christ. Thank you.